Have you left your bike in storage and when you uncovered your bike, notice that your chain got rusted over time? Well, today I'm gonna to show you on some products that we're gonna be testing out to see if they are proven to get rid of rust or take out that grunt that you have on your chain. I have over here the Grunge Buster. It also comes with a brush. We're gonna put it on there. It says it's Pro Strength Degreaser. So let's open it up and let's test it out. If you are gonna do anything with the chain, I suggest wearing some latex gloves. If you have any, if you don't, I would suggest going to the store and getting some because this does a very nasty and greasy job. Let's just start by soaking up the chain here. Make sure uh, that you have your bike up on the on the bike stand and just make sure you just soak it down. And then what, after getting it all soaked up, we'll let it sit for a little bit and then we will get the we'll get the brush on it and see if it does what it says. Okay, it's already been around 5 minutes. Now we're going to get our brush that came with our kit here, which is the grunge brush, and let's see if it gets rid of all this nasty mess. So what you want to do is just uh, grab this part that looks like a little shape of a U and then just put it on there as so. And then just kind of work it on there. Also, if you're going to be spinning your wheel while doing this, make sure you're very careful. Don't put your hand anywhere by the sprocket or chain because that would lead to a really big, nasty mess. So just put your hand on top of the tire. As so. And then just use the top of your tire to spin the wheel at the same time still being careful. I'm gonna do a little section of it just to see if it really does as advertised. Also as you're using the, uh, the brush over here, instead of grabbing it from the handle up here, if you're only gonna do a section of a, at a time, just grab it from these two sides and then just squeeze it as you're scrubbing it because the added pressure actually helps to get the grime off. So just put it on there and then just squeeze and do a little bit at a time. Make sure you're getting it in there. And put a little pressure as you're doing it. All right, so after a little bit of scrubbing, let's see the results. And it looks like the, the grunge brush actually does work with its little degreasing liquid. You just have to put a little elbow grease into really scrubbing it down. So we're gonna give this a thumbs up. Okay, as you can see, here's a little before of how the chain was. Now I'm just gonna move it over to the side where I did clean. And then here is the after. So the grunge brush does work. Like I said, you're just gonna have to put a little elbow grease into really scrubbing down your chain if it got this bad, if you had left it over for storage for the winter time. Um, it's not gonna be easy. So just a little elbow grease, a little bit at a time, and you should be able to get it clean enough. And then next would be to oil and lube the chain. Uh, it looks like the quality of this brush is not that great so don't expect it to last as I was cleaning as you could see the piece just kind of came right off let's put it back on her hopefully that was just a fluke and let's try it again uh, nope it did it again so note to you guys if you do get this I would say if you can uh, find a better brush at your hardware store something that has this style of a design and get that because the one that came with this kit as you can see it's already folding and doesn't look like it's really good quality they didn't use this part so i don't know what the need for that is but yeah and also if you can get a bigger bottle of this stuff because this goes very quick this is a small bottle and i was only able to do my chain i have my buddy here and he did his chain and as you can hear there's nothing in here left okay now that you're done cleaning all the grease and grit off your chain. You want to get a shop towel and then just, you know, wipe down your chain. Get all that, that stuff off of there. You don't want to use water because water will make it worse and you don't want any, you know, water pretty much gets in anywhere. So just wipe it off. So just go around with the rag. Make sure you're very careful when you're working around your sprocket as you're, you know, turning your wheel. Because uh, you don't want to get your fingers pinched into the chain and the sprocket. That's bad news. A bad day for everybody. Let's go around and just start wiping all the, the stuff off of your chain from the degreaser. Okay, now that you're done already cleaning your chain and uh, getting all that the spray and the cleaner off of your chain from the towel, as you can see. Oh, let's see if we can find a spot here. There we go. You can see how dirty it was. So, now next would be to lube your chain. And what I'm going to be using here is the Motul chain lube if you don't have this you can also use liquid wrench chain lube for this video we're gonna be using the mold tool when you get this mold tool one it comes with two different caps this one with a little tiny straw and then the one that's on the cap here 
uh, just slides right off and you're able to put a more extended straw if you wanted to use that way but for this video we're just gonna go with the small straw one and what you want to do is just uh, spray spray your chain as you see when you spray it on there it's just gonna go with high pressure so you don't want to soak it just give it a light spray turn your wheel and just spray it and then you just want to keep doing this for the whole entire chain okay once you're done spraying and lubing your chain just note if you do get this mold tool a chain lube be careful because if you get it on any other parts of your bike it is very extremely sticky I will show you a little bit later on a product I use to get rid of that stickiness so just be mindful if you use this if you want to go with the small straw but maybe go with the longer straw to really get in there and not get so much splatter on the other parts of the bike because it does get sticky as you can see I got some on my swing arm here and it's it's pretty tacky so I will show you in a later video what I use to get rid of this tackiness from my swing arm. Uh, so just wipe it off because you don't want any access on the chain because when you're riding that's just going to attract dirt and you don't want that. So just wipe it down and once you're done wiping it down you'll be all set. Also when working on your chain when you're doing this just you want to do it away. Don't go towards you on doing the clean or the taking off with the towel. Always go away that lessen your chances of having an accident because if you go towards and especially if you have your hands in this area you're gonna get pinched by the chain and sprock so always work from the back and always go away when you're doing the cleaning okay now that you're done wiping all the access as you spin the wheel you'll notice that your your chain and wheel should actually move a lot more freely than it did when you first started just because now there's no there's no grime or grease on the chain to bind and give the friction so now it should spin a lot more freely if you found this video helpful please like subscribe and leave any comments below stay tuned for after the video bonus footage on how to get rid of the tackiness from your swing arm okay so say when you head sprayed you got a little overspray on your swing arm or any other parts of your bike what i use to get rid of that is called goo gone so what you want to do is just uh, put a little bit on a blue paper towel or any paper towel for that matter but i use blue shop towels and just just get a little bit on there like that and then just wipe it that's going to get rid of any stickiness any residue that was caused by the sprays or any chemicals that you were using to lube your chain or anything to your bike so just give it a good wipe down and then once you're done with that just get a, the clean side of the paper towel and then just wipe it off if you are using a, on a plastic black especially it is going to give it like a armor all shine but that's about it it's not going to cause any harm to the plastic or any part of the bike for that matter so there you go once it's done no more tackiness it actually gives it a shine it looks almost brand new so that's it for the bonus material hopefully you found that helpful and on cleaning your uh the tackiness off of the the bike if you had any thank you for watching